Team coverage continues. Here's sports anchor Caleb. No, he's outside Great American Ballpark right now. Caleb, you're going to be one of the very few people, one of the few media members, too, allowed inside the stadium tonight to see this game in person. So what's it going to be like, do you think, to see a baseball game with zero fans? Yeah, well, fortunately, we have a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like because we did get to see two preseason uh, pre scrimmages between the Reds and the Tigers. Now, I heard Larry's story there. I want to get off track here for just a second. That's a pretty cool story. It's going to be hard to top. But I got a pretty cool story myself here. I met a guy right here. He lives in the area. He said he's been to probably 60 opening day games. He said he's going to sit out here for nine innings tonight. He said he just wants to hear the crack of the bat. He said he's, if he has to watch the game through the gates, and just get a little glimpse of it, that's what he's gonna do. But you asked me about what, it, what it'll be like seeing a game with no fans. A couple things that have stuck out to me earlier this week in watching games. First of all, it's baseball. It is what it is. It is a baseball game. It's a competitive baseball game and it matters. Imagine how that's gonna be amplified tonight. The second thing that has stuck out to me is that it does seem it, it feels a little fake. I mean, there's artificial crowd noise and there's no way that's ever gonna replace a true authentic crowd. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm looking forward to some baseball that actually counts. And speaking of making something count, how about this guy? Pitcher Nate Jones, a native of Pendleton County, Kentucky, not too far down the road from here. He's fought through injuries. He's been through it all, but he got a shot with the Reds this offseason, and he has done nothing but impress. And here we are on opening day. We may or may not see him on the mound tonight, but he is on the opening day roster. I am blessed, you know, I get to go home to my own bed at night and not a lot of guys get the opportunity to, to do that in their career. And so when this opportunity arose this off season, being a free agent, you know, I, I jumped on it and in hopes that I could do that. But yeah, it's not a bad drive at all. It uh, calms you down after a game at night and gets you ready, get your mind right on the drive in, you know, for about 35, 40 minutes. Sure, and I mean, he's right. You don't hear stories like that too often. Guys getting to play basically for their hometown teams in the pros. That's pretty dang special, man. First pitch tonight between the Reds and the Tigers, 6-10 p.m. It is the first of what will be a 60-game season, and there's a lot of talk about how many wins it'll take to win a division in a 60-game season. I was talking to our photographer, Philip. We think it'll be somewhere between 35 and 40 maybe as the aiming point there, but winning the first one would obviously be a good start. Again, there's not going to be very many people in the stadium uh, just a, a little upwards of 30 media members, but that's what we're going to be there for to bring coverage to you tonight at 11 o'clock. We will have the full recap of this game right here on Channel 9. Guys.